Well, we have an incredible story of survival and loss to tell you about. A seven-year-old girl is the lone survivor of a plane crash in the southern United States. She also managed to walk through a forest and find help. Natasha Fata joins us now with more on this story. So, Natasha, take us through what happened. Well, Christine, have a look at some of these pictures, daytime images of the wooded area. The seven-year-old girl would have had to walk through at night alone by herself. This is the, the search mission right now. So this is what we understand happened yesterday. The plane, a small plane, a Piper airline, took off with the pilot and four passengers from Fo Florida, making its way to Illinois. But along the path around Kentucky, we understand that the pilot said that he was having difficulty, he was having engine trouble, and then shortly after, he lost contact with air traffic controllers. And we understand that the girl must have crashed somewhere near Catawba, Kentucky. Kentucky. Now, again, to give you a sense of this area, the Kentucky Lake is right here. This is a densely forested area. We understand they had a major snowstorm a few years ago where many of the trees had been downed. This is filled with brush and briar. It would have been very difficult terrain for anyone to walk through in the best conditions, but she managed to walk through that and make her way to Larry Wilkins' home. And here we got to speak to him earlier today. He described what she looked like when she got to his door. Uh. Nose was bloody. Arms and legs were scratched up, something fierce from all the briars and stuff out here in this woods. And of course, she was crying and told me that her mom and dad were dead. And that she was in a plane crash and said that the plane was upside down. She didn't say anything else about anybody else being in a plane. But, uh, she was, like I said, she was pretty, pretty calm for a, for a seven-year-old that had been in a plane crash and walked three-quarters of a mile through that stuff. So we understand that he brought her then into his home and called 911. And then shortly after that, emergency services went to get her, but also went to the crash site, finding the plane. In fact, her two parents, which you saw pictured in some of that B-roll, had lost their lives, as had her sister and the pilot on board that flight. Now, we understand she was taken to a local area hospital, according to police. Now, Larry Wilkins says that the seven-year-old girl asked him to come along, that even in 20 minutes sitting in his home, they had formed some sort of a bond during this traumatic experience. Experience, but the police wouldn't allow him to come along because he is, of course, not next of kin. So, Natasha, where is the girl now? Well, again, according to Larry, he told us that she was taken to this local hospital, was treated there. The police say that she was um, having to deal with emotional distress, but did not have life-threatening uh, injuries as a result of this plane crash. But Larry Wilkins heard from another source that the girl's grandmother came from Nashville, picked her up, and has taken her away. He has not heard from her since. He talked again about this bond and said that even though he's getting a lot of credit for helping her, it's actually this girl who is a survivor and deserves most of the credit. Yeah, well, she certainly uh, made it through a lot there. Incredible. Natasha, thanks for this. You're welcome.